knowledge, teamwork and game smarts. These are the ingredients turning your everyday players into tomorrow's professional gamers. But to truly appreciate the future competitors of esports, we need to pay homage to the moments from the past. Arena Esports takes you on a trip back in time to enjoy the greatest plays from the world of esports. South Korea as the methodical Hearthstone players from across the globe made their way to the home of competitive gaming. Over 50 countries represented. Over 300 talented card slingers fought their way through a vigorous competition. A tournament of mind, foresight and strategy that saw players eliminated one by one at the 2019 Hearthstone Masters Tour Seoul in South Korea. I'm a little confused by this choice by Magoho here because he could have gotten everything big off the board now. And Magoho is rewarded for his aggressive stance there. Yes. And we see the big difference. After right? leading the way for Group B, Team Solari's Felkine squared up against his hometown rival Magoho in a stunning Highlander Mage versus Bomb Warrior standoff. You know, it was like a 15 to 60 percent chance to win like right but rich caliber double climb. As the name suggests, Magoho's Warrior deck was all about bombs. When drawn, they dealt five direct and unavoidable damage to the enemy player. His deck was designed in such a way that he could shuffle as many bombs into his opponent's deck, all while utilizing upfront damage via mechanical minions. Felkine's deck was based around having zero duplicates. This not only granted him several options for providing lethal damage, but it also gave him benefits through cards that are activated by Highlander mechanics. In a game he should have lost, Archmage Antonidas provided Felkine several discounted fireballs when he needed them the most. He dodged four bombs in his deck while sitting on just five health when he closed out game two in a fiery blaze. Antonidas has always been an extremely powerful card for any seasoned mage deck. Whenever a spell is cast while this legendary card was on the board, the player would obtain a copy of a fireball. A four cost spell that dished out six direct damage at either the enemy player or one of their minions. It won Felkine his second game. In the third, he played it to create a high value Conjurer's Calling target. Another brutal spell used to destroy a minion, then summon two at random with equal cost. With bombs failing to draw and no self-sustaining options in his hand, Magoho bowed out of the competition. Useful. Nothing amazing. Magoho with the stretch. He's done well to get to the top four. A round of applause for Felkane. I can't read that. It's too bright. <laughs> Sending a message to the crowd, and there it is, the concession. In a glorious three-game reverse sweep, Felkine found his place in the Masters Tour Seoul Grand Final. Also bringing fireworks to the Premier Tournament was Helios Gaming's Zim, who in his trek to the top two faced off against the Chinese superpower Liss in a glorious Highlander Hunter and Mage matchup. Zim found victory in his first head-to-head, -head, but with a strong board presence, Liz turned things around in the second. Spellbreaker provided a silence when it was needed the most, cancelling out a reborn taunt minion to finish off Zim with the perfect amount of damage as fast as turn six, following a hero power. The third match was a game of secrets between the two classes. Most of the win conditions in Lissa's deck had been either snuffed out or used in his own defense. With nothing left in the tank, he conceded. But he's gonna have to start turning it up. With consistent board wipes and some ogres that just wouldn't settle down, Zim went for the face in the dying seconds of his fourth and final game. As quick as you possibly can. I don't even think Zul'jin is enough to deal with this. I agree. It looks like we may have our second finalist. 
here at Masters Tour Seoul. Hands thrown together in prayer. That's it. Liz ran out of options once again, bowing out of the tournament with nothing of value in his hand. The Hearthstone Masters Tour Seoul would be an all-French, all-mage grand final between two of the best in the 2019 competition. Two card-slinging Frenchmen, two meta-breaking Highlander mage decks, but only one Hearthstone Masters Tour trophy. Felkine and Zim took their seats for the final set of the weekend. Swing in the mid -game. You know, to no surprise, both Zephries came out early in game number one, offering up the perfect card to get them ahead of the early and mid game. Back to back Renos helped reset the board entirely. Control was of the utmost importance for both players approaching turn seven. Like, I can do this. Following a valuable Conjurer's calling, Zim was able to bring the all-powerful Ziliax into play while reinforcing his side of the playing field with strong six-cost minions. This was the beginning of some heavy damage. With a couple of fireballs in his opponent's hand, thanks to Antonidas, Felkine was facing lethal next turn. He turned to a Conjurer's calling for answers, but they offered up no protection. Try it again. Once more time. Once more. Gets a taunt, but that's not going to cut it. And yeah, Zim takes a quick lead in this mirror match. Perhaps stronger. A moment to reflect rolled straight into game two, where Zim's Zephyrs this time around led to a wild growth for additional mana. He was ramping up for a better mid to late game. Felkine responded in kind as he coined into a turn four Lunas Pocket Galaxy, a card designed to change the entire flow of the game by setting the cost of all minions in his deck to just one. Following some favourable draw, Felkine laid down the law with a one cost Alex Straza, burning half of his opponent's max health. Facing off against minions with high stats, Reno failed to remove anything from Felkine's side of the board. Zim knew that he had lost this one and chose to concede. Everything in Anixia. No, it didn't do it. Oh gosh, nothing died. Nothing. Literally nothing, and he's at 21 health. And if Felkine just hero powers, that's it. With the series tied at one aside, the duel of Hearthstone Mages continued in game number three. Felkine prepared himself for board domination with a turn five pocket galaxy, once again reducing all minions in his deck to one mana cost. The famed Alexstrasza furthered his lead, reducing Zim's health down to 15. So far in the game, Zim hadn't played anything real to counter Felkine's tempo. A board of frozen minions was not going to stop the Felkine pain train. Antonidas once again showed himself, becoming an engine for more and more fireballs. With only four health remaining, Zim turned to Zephyrs for a game-turning solution, but there was little on offer from the legendary Battlecry minion. Can Zim do anything in this spot with Zephyrus the Great? Seven mana is kind of awkward for Zephyrus. Blizzard. I mean, none of, the, none of these things matter. They only impact the board and the fireball in the hands. The Pocket Galaxy won Felkine his third match in a row. One more is all he needed to claim the tour stop. History repeated itself as wishes were granted. Zephyrs landed on the board nice and early for both players. Brutal. Spells and secrets were discovered and traded. Board clearing options were slowly used up on both sides of the field. Alex Straza showed herself, zapping nine health from Zim. This was the first step towards his demise. The odds were heavily against Zim. Caligos was played to discount his next spell down to zero. With his fingers crossed, the random effects of the puzzle box of Yogg-Saron was brought into action. 
A desperate last chance to survive. My goodness. Let's go! <laughs> He's running out of time. He Here he is! <laughs> the crowd is losing this, it. I mean, this could just be it. This puzzle box could decide okay. the final Okay! Here. Avenging Wrath! Belkite's eyes are exploding out of the sockets, but it's not killing the Antonitis! Where's the sap go? Look at Belkite's face. Look at his eyes. Earth shock. Oh, the one non-frozen minion! Stop buffing! Okay. One more spell. Oh, Antonidas no. lives! Antonidas lives! Projecting his last flurry of fireballs to his opponent's face, Felkine claimed the Hearthstone Master's sole title and trophy. The proud Frenchman earned the lion's share of half a million US dollars, alongside a first-class ticket to the Hearthstone World Championship that following year. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten Esports.